Colossal stars Anne Hathaway and is the story of a girl who's struggling with severe dependency on alcohol. She is full-blown alcoholic, so much so that her boyfriend, played by Dan Stevens, says, get out, I can't deal with this anymore, and she moves back to her hometown. She gets a job working for Jason Sudeikis at his bar, and there's a monster raging through South Korea. And there might be a connection, and I'm not going to tell you about that, because I went into this movie knowing nothing about it, which was so refreshing to see these story elements drop in the film to be like genuinely surprised by it and be actually invested in a story not knowing where it's going to go because this film truly is original and different. And I don't want to tell you why, but there's definitely a sci-fi fantasy element and it does involve a monster rampaging through a city. Beyond that, the film is also a story about a girl who is trying to come to terms with alcoholism and trying to clean up her life. And that's where the film struggles because the monster element of this movie I thought was just so friggin' cool and really different and I just I loved seeing a movie that had a twist to it that just I've never seen before. It's the more standard aspects of this story that we've seen many times in films that didn't really feel as strong as the fantasy element. And it's a very ballsy thing. It's ambitious to try to combine these two. Have your basic film about some girl who's trying to clean up her life and come to terms with what she's done in the past and then she's meeting a new friend that she hasn't seen since elementary school in Jason Sudeikis' character, which becomes very important because these two characters are suddenly highly at odds with each other. And I say suddenly because that's exactly how it feels. In one scene, Sudeikis will be this sweet, loving guy and you're like, man, I could just go play basketball with him or whatever. And then all of a sudden, the next day, he is legit serial killer horrifying and I have no idea exactly what's going on in this character's mind. I felt like I had gotten up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the movie and missed a crucial scene where this character makes a choice to change everything about him. But I never got up, I watched the whole movie. From one scene to another, this character has so drastically changed, and it's very important to the film, and that's easily the biggest issue that I can walk away from having with this movie. Anne Hathaway is really good in this movie. She gives a lot of nuance to her performance. There's a lot of subtleties that she adds with the humorous aspect of the film, but also with the drama. But I just don't buy her as an alcoholic. That aspect of her character, not really selling it for me. She's always gorgeous and beautiful, even when she's completely hung over, like out of her mind hung over. She's missing time, she's forgetting things that she's saying, she still looks amazing. And I just, I didn't buy her as an alcoholic. And that was something that was really important to the story. She kind of goes the route of like that college girl, like, oh my God, I'm so drunk. Like, I can't, I'm just, just go away. I'll think about stuff later. Like, oh my God. Like, I'm like, really? <laughs> I don't know. So the fantasy aspects of this movie, I thought were so unique and especially the ending. I really like the way they went about doing it. And even the last shot is just really great. But it's the more standard elements of this film that I thought had a serious clashing of tone because it would go from really funny and lighthearted to suddenly really serious where thousands of people quite literally are dying. And it was like, okay, um, these tones just don't really match up. But still, the fact that there is an original and different movie out in theaters now that does have good performances, despite the fact that the story is uneven at times, I would recommend seeing Colossal and I'm gonna give it a B. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Stay tuned this weekend. I'm going to be releasing my review for Alien vs. Predator. Now, I did film my AVP 1 and 2 reviews when I still had braces. So, no, I didn't magically get braces again. They were just pre-filmed. Guys, you are the best. Thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.